Listening is all part of a whole thing of communication, which is probably the major challenge between parents and their children. Now listening is the most important thing in the communication process. And I've always said God gave us two ears and one mouth because we were to be informed that listening is twice as important as talking. Now, what happens when you're a very powerful person out in the world? You're president of a company. You talk and other people listen, right? So successful people like to be talkers. When you come back into your house as the outside talker, you suddenly have to become the listener. And you have to truly close your mouth and listen to what a child has to say. And very often the big complaint, particularly in adolescents, when I run adolescent groups is they complain, well, my parents don't listen. Now, in all fairness, when I talk to the parents of those same adolescents, they're gonna tell me their kids don't listen. But we have a, we're, we're, we're ships in the light passing in terms of, of how we're listening. There was a technique that I used in my own, with my own children and I've always taught it in parenting, which was private sharing time. As you are raising a child, I felt that every parent needed to have every day at least five minutes per child of private sharing time. Now, I usually did that before my children were going to bed. During private sharing time, you were one-on-one -on -one with that child and you listened. So if during private sharing time, my son Brian said, you know, Mom, I had a fight at school and Billy went home with a bloody nose, that was not my time to give a dissertation on alternative conflict resolution. My job when I'm in private sharing time was to listen and say, thanks for sharing, but I will have to deal with whatever the consequences are later. When you've created that space and a child knows that he or she can say anything to you, and you won't get upset and you won't hyperventilate and you won't be judgmental, then the child feels that you're gonna be a good listener.